So a topic I get asked a lot is what exercises are best for certain body types. Now the answer really is there is no such thing as a best exercise. The reason I say this is because imagine that you want to burn 100 calories during your workout and you decide to use leg press to burn 100 calories. Keep in mind, I'm not saying how many, how many reps, how many sets to do, how long it takes, tempo, none of that. Let's just say your body burns 100 calories on the leg press. You go and do bicep curls and you also burn 100 calories. Did either exercise do more than the other? The answer is no, they both burned 100 calories. So if you're a heavy set person and you're like, I need a perfect exercise to help me lose weight, there's really is no such thing. Because if I'm burning 100 calories during my workout, it doesn't matter what exercises I used or what combination I used to create 100 calories. It's just the fact that I burned 100 calories. The same way, let's say you have a smaller body type, you're very hard, you know, hard gainer body type, you don't really put on weight well, and you go and do 100 calories expended on a bicep curl or tricep pushdown, it doesn't do any better for you than doing any other exercise. You still burned 100 calories. Now, the heavier person burning 100 calories has to keep in mind that if they're trying to lose weight, they may want to do more volume to burn off more calories because obviously more calories out means they're gonna have a greater deficit and a better chance for weight loss. However, the person that needs to gain more weight or is a lean gainer, a hard gainer as you may call it, that person needs to keep in mind that the longer they work out and the more frequent they work out, the more calories they'll have to intake to offset that deficit. So if my goal is to eat 4,000 calories a day and I'm a hard gainer and I worked out really hard and burned 1,000 calories, I now have to reconsume that amount of calories. So now I'm having to go to 5,000 calories to replenish what I just worked out and also meet the demands I need daily. So for those hard gainers, you have to understand that every time you work out, you really are just making it harder on yourself to put on weight. Not that you shouldn't work out, but just be aware that the longer you work out and the more frequent you work out, the more calories you're gonna have to replace. Now on the opposite end, there are exercises I would suggest that I see create adherence. Meaning, if you're somebody trying to lose weight and you absolutely hate squatting, then I wouldn't make you squat. Reason being, if you're not excited to go squat, then you're probably not gonna give your best effort. If I say go leg press or do lunges and you're more excited to do those, chances are you'll give a better effort and burn more calories because you're gonna be giving a better effort on that exercise. So in that regards, if you're somebody that is on the heavier side or have a bigger frame or whatever you wanna call it, you may want to pick exercises that are more exciting to you to kind of induce that power, motivation, calorie expenditure that makes you wanna push harder because inevitably you will burn more calories on a better workout with more effort, creating a larger deficit leading to more weight loss. But in the end, there is no specific exercise per body type or no exercise that's gonna help you lose or gain weight more than any other. The bottom line is find exercises that you like, make sure that you realize that calories are burned during exercise because it is a catabolic movement, and then either replenish the calories you need if you're a hard gainer, or if you're somebody that's maybe on the heavier side, keep in mind that you may not want to do exercises that promote more calories burned in order to lose more weight. That's all I gotta say about that. Hopefully this helped you for those of you that are wondering if there's certain exercises for certain body types. Hopefully this gave you some insight. Make sure to like, comment below your thoughts, and of course, subscribe for more information.